All right, we're here, 2017 CRCRC Midwest Championship, A1 of Mod Buggy. Who you got, Billy? Who you got? I'm going to say Dakota. I'm thinking Dakota, too. His performance, and especially yesterday, those 19s he clicked off in two-wheel were ridiculous. But Tebow's sticking close. This is not a track where you can get necessarily a lot of separation. you got to wait for the guys behind you to wreck. So we should see some really good racing because it's always easier to follow than it is to lead. Top three staying tight. Right? It's funny to think of uh, Tebow and Cav as the old guys now, isn't it? Yeah. They, it's like they're the, the old mentors pushing the, the real young kid. Right. Dakota seems to be playing it pretty safe here. I don't see him pushing too hard. You know, I, I, I see a little bit of time in the corners that he's leaving, like that, that ten hundredth of a second. He's pushing, the, but the, not over pushing it. Right, right. Doing a really nice job. I gotta imagine the lap times are right around that, like, low 20s. You know, these aren't the 19s that he was clicking off. Right. So he's got, oh, mistake from the young kid. Now we're gonna see those 19s, right? Like yeah, this now is, we're gonna see the push. Right. But the two in front of him, I mean, what is that? Five world titles? Yeah, at least. So they're no strangers to pressure. This is what Tebow needed. Tebow TQ'd that first round of qualifying. Oh, Cav with a tumble. All right. Let's watch the gap here coming down the straightaway. One, two, second and a half. I would say, yeah. To the 180. Tebow is giving it all he's got. But Tebow is playing it safe. He is so good with car control. Like picking his lines. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say he never makes a mistake, but like the car, it just, it's that much more perfect on the line. Yep. Tebow looking really good here. Dakota still, he's pushing. Right? He's pushing it, but. Right. There's that little faster. You know, I was talking about that hundredth of a second of uh, hesitation. You're not seeing that now. Yeah, and I think what it is is he's, like, when you're playing it safe, Dakota doesn't change lines necessarily anything. He just gives him that, himself that extra space to think. Oh, no. And then when, you, when you're strapping it up, he's just letting it all, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't take that extra right. 100. The cab's right up on him, so Dakota's going to have to push. Right, Tanner Day is up into the two yeah. spot now. Two Kyoshos out front. What do you think of that? That's, that's, a re that's very odd. Well, I'll tell you what. Kyosho is a company that has a four-gear laydown. Yeah. Dakota and Cav running three-gear laydown. You're right. And uh, this, this track is, is like, I mean, it's high bite for dirt, but it's, it's a little bit slick. Yep. Oh, Dakota, nice, wow. Nice oh. Tanner Day is going to be upset with that. I don't think that was very clean on Cav. Watching Dakota here. This is that. Let's see why he's TQ, right? Three and a half gap. We're watching Dakota over that triple. Down the straightaway. All hesitation gone. He's got time, but I think it takes a mistake from Tebow. Yep. Wow, nice. So tight out of out of Dakota. Eat up the young horn kid. Yep. Just drove it right in underneath him. Right. Tebow has actually settled down now. He's running a nice, just paced line. Right. Keep Let's watch our race leader here. Down the straightaway goes Tebow. We're on Tebow here. So I talked about that four gear. What the four gear does, I mean, it's the same as with the stand up cars. The four gear is going to give you more rear weight transfer when you pick up the throttle. Right. Right? And more forward weight transfer when you get on brakes. And I think you really see Tebow's car squat oh, under yeah. that acceleration, even with the laydown. Like he's just got more forward bite. Mm -hmm. He's playing safe. There's no delay. There he goes. Nice job, traffic. That's what you're supposed to do when that race is coming up on you. 
Tebow's doing a nice job of managing the weight on the rear of his car. And like, he's letting it lean over in the corner and then like keeping that friction point, keeping that contact patch and really just using everything he's got to come out of the corner then and depending on that weight transfer to hook it up. Did a real nice correction coming across the tabletop. Kind of slowed the car up to get over where he wanted to be. Right. Like I said, his car control is amazing. Over the stripe he goes one more time. Got some more back markers. Let's watch him here before the triple. You can see it just square up and go. He's really opening up the apexes too. Right. I think that's his way of, of giving himself some... There's a little double steer around that left-hander of being cautious, right? Like he knows he's got the three seconds, the two and a half seconds. I mean, Dakota's pushing, but. Right, let's watch Dakota here for the end of the race. Over the triple goes Dakota. Through the hooks. Dakota's giving it everything he's got, but it's just. Oh, Dakota, Tebow with a tumble. Mech, oh, back marker. What? How disappointing. Yes. How heartbreaking. Wow. Wow. That's just bad luck right there. Well, it'll make A2 interesting. Let's see how it goes. See you next time.